Right, this is my favorite Sunday of the year, all the time. <laughs> Baptism Sunday, man. I have been waiting a year and a half, a year and a half to get back in the waters of baptism. And I'm going to tell you, you know, and Julius Caesar, Mark Anthony gets up and what says, uh, says what? I better get up here. People probably can't see me online. Sorry about that. You saw, the, you saw my bald spot online. Um, but he said, lend me your ears. And after Naeem preached, here's what I'm going to ask you. Lend us your hearts. Let's just have some heart power headed all around this place today and fill it with love. Um, the Browns are playing later today. Anybody know that? Yeah, I see. And you, well, maybe? Oh, here we go. The, uh, Lord God, hold up the box top for me right now that I might see your church. Yes, Bears fans and Browns fans and Steeler fans. Ah, yes. But anyhow, we're probably, Cleveland knows how to cheer, right? We know how to cheer. Let me tell you something. That is a speck in the ocean of what's going to happen in heaven in just a minute. <laughs> because they say there is something that makes angels cheer. And it's not the Browns, and it's not LeBron, it's not all that that I love. It is people who come forward to the waters of baptism and say, Lord, I want to receive your power that I might go out and live out your power. And if you don't act like flat out fools in here and cheer with the angels in heaven, shame on you if you cheer at one o'clock, all right? Amen. <laughs> and what better way to celebrate our identity, receive our identity, then through the waters of baptism. What happened when Jesus was baptized? He comes out of the water and there's a voice that says, you are my beloved child, and in you I am well pleased. And so out of that identity, and out of receiving that power, when we open our hearts to the Holy Spirit, out of that we can really be the church. So what a celebration today as we recognize this transformative moment. And so if you have been baptized and um, use this as, as you're watching to, time to quietly even renew your baptism. And if you've been kind of wondering if something struck you today and you want to come to the waters and you didn't tell us ahead of time, that's okay. The, the waters are always open. Huh? What? We have oh, we have clothes. I thought he said, no, it's closed. No! <laughs> Pastor Chap. <laughs> Apparently we're too we're too far apart. Stand closer. <laughs> and we've only been working together 17 years. You'd think the communication would be better. We have clothes. So if you we have something you could change into to go in the water. And um, so pray about that. Uh, Pastor Lori from our House of Prayer and Pastor of Discipleship is, is here in the front. So if you're feeling that tug and, and wondering about that, um, you can talk to her and let us know. And then after the bap other baptisms are done, we'll invite you to come in the waters. And so as, as Pastor Schiff said, it's all, all bets are off. I hope you feel the freedom, the freedom to celebrate. The freedom to recognize that this is a moment. This is a moment. We've all been through a lot in this last year and a half. Some of us more than others, some of you more than others. And when Naeem was talking about all the you know, anxiety and the depression and other things that, are, that can lodge in our heart that we can exude without even realizing it, the waters of baptism can cleanse that. The waters of baptism can clean us from the inside out. And so we invite you to experience the waters. And I loved how Naeem brought us into the story. So enter into this story today. Like I said, it's a moment for us to experience together as the church. The church. The capital C church. And God's people, as, as my sister Terry is saying. And so this is a moment we prepare our hearts, we open our hearts to whatever God is going to do, because we never know, and that's a good thing. That's right. And that's a good thing. And so we have some children and babies being baptized, some adults going into the waters. We'll start here. Um, baptism by sprinkling as, as United Methodists. We baptize by sprinkling, by pouring, by immersion. And we... As we, as we do that, it's, it's all the same water. 
So it doesn't matter if you go all the way in or if you're here and you're sprinkled. The water covers you and cleanses you. It's, it's the waters of baptism. And so I'm going to ask first for, um, and as, as Methodists, we don't require infant baptism, but we permit it. In, did I say in the book of Acts? No, you're good. No, okay. But in the book of Acts, whole families were baptized at the same time, from little babies to grandparents. And so in that spirit, we baptize infants, we baptize children. It's not required. But parents want, often want to bring their children to the waters of baptism, and they make a promise. They make a pledge that they're going to reject the forces of evil, that they're going to fight against oppression and injustice in whatever forms they present themselves. They, they are promising that they are receiving Christ, and they're promising that they will raise their child to know Jesus so that they might experience that power and be the church for generations. As the, as the stories and the poetry and the songs of the Bible have been passed on from generation to generation, who knows what much, might, stories that are happening here today might be passed on as our generations come up. So I'm going to ask the, the parents who are having their children baptized to simply stand where they are. I'm going to ask you to affirm. They, when we met, they took vows. So all of you parents and, and family, you can stand. And so you have made those vows to, as I said, to reject evil, that you receive Christ, you'll bring up your kids. So if you affirm those now, just say, we do. And then you all, as the church, have a part in this. And so do you promise to love and surround all these people that are going in the waters today and help them to discover their true identity? If so, say, Yahoo! Yahoo! All right, all right. All right, you guys can sit down, except um, I'm going to ask um, Goran Dillard and Heather Holmes to come up with Pamela. And as they come up, we'll show a short video of why they're taking this step today. Hello, everyone. My name is Goran, Goran Dillard. Spell it. Spell my name? Yeah. OK. Uh, G-O-R-E-N, Goran Dillard. And I'm Heather Holmes, H-E-A-T-H-E-R-H-O-L-M-E-S. And we are the parents of? I would say this is about us, but it isn't. Uh, today is all about our daughter, Pamela, Pamela Grace. And this has been quite a journey. Uh, we've been at this for what, two years? Literally two years. Um, and it's all about faith. And that's what's brought us here today. But uh, this is really about Pamela Grace Dillard. Um, and her relationship with, you know, the Lord uh, that we want to help her initiate. Yes, so as Gorn mentioned, uh, we have been trying hard as a family to um, uh, get to this day uh, of, of Pamela's baptism uh, with uh, schedules and uh, church schedules and then good old coronavirus. Um, we have uh, been delayed, but here we are. Uh, I'm very excited that um, today is the day uh, where we get to give um, our, our daughter to, to Christ and the Lord. Huge ceremony. Um, she and her brother Grayson, Grayson is eight, uh, they both, you know, have uh, memorized a seven word prayer, uh, and it's kind of a tradition uh, with our kids. Glory to God, thank you Jesus, amen. Uh, and so she's all prepared, we're all excited, and this is a big day for all of us. All right. Right over here. Hi Pamela Grace. Hi. Did you like seeing your parents on the screen? Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I like that prayer. Yeah. Yes. yes. Can, can, can you say it with me? Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right. Very good. 
So, Pamela, do you know how much God loves you? Yes. You, more than this much. More than this much. Yeah, yeah more than you could ever imagine. Yeah. And so, Pamela Grace Dillard, I baptize. It's going to be a little drippy. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I baptize you in the name of the Father. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> and the Son and the Holy Spirit. May God defend you with his heavenly grace. Uh, Lord, we're so grateful for Pamela and her family. Amen. Amen. And now I'm going to invite Valentino Luca Duvniak to come up with his family. Okay, my name is Natalie, this is Giuliano and Valentino. Uh, he will be getting baptized this Sunday. Um, it's a decision I made on his behalf uh, just to get him a part of the community and have that connection with God. And hopefully as he grows up, it's something that he chooses to continue on his own. <laughs> so we're going to put this water on you, Valentino, okay? Because it's a way of showing how much that God loves you, okay? You ready? Okay. Valentino Luke Dovniak, I baptize you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, amen. Here, you can wipe yourself off. All right. Jamie, Logan, and Terry. Um, I'm Jamie. I'm Logan. I'm Terry. And we're all here. Um, well, first it starts with um, Logan. We wanted to get Logan baptized for a while now since he was younger and just something always ended up happening. Um, and then, of course, COVID. And so now we're here finally doing it for him. And I would like to also be reaffirmed because I had a stroke uh, last year. And that just really re made me really realize how important it is and how much, I guess, people take it for granted. Um, so I really would like our family to be more into that. And I, I was baptized when I was a baby and I also made my confirmation. I got my little Bible from this church, actually. So I'm here in support and also to reaffirm my faith in Jesus and God and all the good stuff about the church. <laughs> and that's it. Are you excited about being baptized is what I asked you, or how do you feel about it? Um, I'm kind of excited. Yeah. yeah. Excited, yeah. We're all going to do it yeah. together, huh? Yeah, and be, it's a family, a family thing, and to put, and just to, I guess I want them, we want them all to learn more about, you know, the Bible and everything, and just how all important it is. Yeah, exactly. Right? So Logan, you know who's really excited? Jesus! Yeah. Jesus is really excited. All the angels in heaven are really excited. So, and I'm really honored and what a beautiful cross. So, Logan Greer, it's gonna be drippy. <laughs> okay. He's good. Baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Lord, may these waters of baptism surround Logan through all his life. May they drip off him like this water is dripping off him. May your Holy Spirit fill him. And that he, may he, he feel your love. And may he hear your voice saying that no matter whatever happens in his life, you are saying, Logan, you are my beloved child. And in you, I am well pleased, more pleased than you can ask or imagine, because I love you with an everlasting love. So Lord, protect Logan, help him to feel your love, and thank you, thank you for this act of faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Right. In 
Jamie, may these healing waters of baptism renew you, refill you, you. make right all that's been broken. Thank you. As you reaffirm your faith and reaffirm your baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and God bless you. Terry. Good name, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I, we celebrate that you're taking this step after having been baptized, receiving confirmation here in this very church, and that at this time, God has called you to the waters. God has called you to renewal. God has called you to do something great in his name. So in that spirit, we reaffirm your baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God continue to work in you and flow through you and your whole family. How beautiful that you came together to the waters. We come together, we go together, we live together, we love one another, we fight, we do whatever it is, but we always come back together because we're better together. And that's what you teach us to do. So. May the uh, angels and, and Lord Jesus celebrate with us. Amen. All right. So now we're going to move stations over to the baptism pool. So I'm going to ask Seth Pinkney to come up. I thought you were going in. Oh, yeah, man. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize how chaos was going to be. Would you like to go in a different order? No. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Communication is my strong suit. All right, Chip Croucher, come on up, and wh whoever of your family wants to come up with you. Yeah. So, and if, as he's coming up, if you play Chip Croucher's video. Hi. 61 years ago, I was baptized here at this church. I don't remember it. But what is going on in this world, my life, and in this city, I have found myself compelled to re-up my baptism. For that's what I need. And maybe the world needs a little bit of WWJW. So God bless this church, and God bless all of you. is back and if we can show Seth's video you can go on. Um, my name is Seth um, and 
I'm, I'm wanting to get baptized uh, as an adult um, to to affirm my my faith uh, in Christ um, and to make a commitment to um, that journey and growing my faith. Um, it's something that is really important to me. Um, I, I made the decision um, as an adult. Um, I just kind of been have been putting it off. Um, but was really happy to be able to come to Garfield and participate in um, some of the, uh, we did premarital um, counseling here and um, wanted to really just affirm my faith um, and do that publicly um, and really to start my marriage off um, with that um, reaffirmation, affirmation of faith. Um, but yeah, that those would be probably my main reasons um, in, in to be kind of a part of uh, Christ in a really uh, profound way in making that uh, front and center in my life. Crenshaw, if you'd come up with Pastor Scott. So uh, this is Mike, Mike, M Terrence has, uh, Terrence is here to be baptized and uh, he wasn't able to be, yeah, absolutely. He wasn't able to be present when the, uh, when the videos were, were filmed. So he's going to give us his story. I just want to introduce you to him just briefly um, because Terrence is my, Terrence is my brother and, and that might not seem obvious when you look at us. Uh, one of us grew up in the city, one of us grew up in the country, one of us is old and one of us is young. One of us has hair and the other doesn't. But all of these differences are nothing. We I had an opportunity to have some amazing conversation with Terrence over the past couple of weeks. And the things that we have in common are so extraordinary. Um, things of the spirit, common joys, common struggles, common life experiences, common hopes and dreams, and, and I'm so excited. Terrence has a family, and is an amazing family. Now Terrence has a bigger family as of today. And uh, uh, welcome my brother, your brother, to our family today. Terrence, tell us why you're gonna be baptized. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the introduction. But um, I'm being baptized today for my past. I've, I've been baptized before, but you know, God's been just knocking at my door. I, I wasn't living the best life that he's supposed to, I was supposed to live. I was, I was turned into sin. I've been doing so many bad things that I know for so long that I have not supposed to been doing. And God came knocking at my door so many times, just, are you gonna open up? No, not today, not today, not today. Just, just like Pat, I was, even now, I'm so scared to even be up here. But like, just like Pastor Terry said, like I was in my seat like, I'm not about to get up, I'm not about to get up, but God lifted me up and brought me up here. God showed me so many times. God, God has gave me so many chances. God has stood me up today to show, to tell my testimony, to tell that he's here, he's coming back, and turn towards him now. Get baptized now before it's too late. Be, just, I just wanna give grace and thanks to him so much. Like, I just can't say thank you enough. He turned me away when nobody else did. He loved me when nobody else could. He gave me so many, he gave me so, when I tell you, he gave me so many chances, so many. 
just thank you so thank you God thank you I'm ready to get a seal of God <laughs> If you're, if you're here today, if you're here today and you feel that God's trying to pull you up out of your seat and you want to come forward now and come in the waters, this is your time. This is your moment. But regardless, regardless, I hope you feel the waters. Hallelujah. I feel the waters in the room swirling around us, covering us and cleansing us and uniting us. Anybody? All right, let's, let's celebrate again what God is doing. Yeah.